I am Anil Kumar. Here is an application question on sine and cosine law. Question number 5. Sunset Point Coast Guard Station is 40 kilometers southwest from Rock Point Station. At midnight, both stations pick up an SOS radio signal from a ship in distress at point D. The bearing from Sunset Point is 10 degrees east of north and the bearing from Rock Point is 70 degrees west of south. If rescue boat from Rock Point can make 12 kilometers per hour and the boat from Sunset Point can make only 8 kilometers per hour, which boat will get to the point D first? What is the difference in times? Now this is a very important question. I'd like you to pause the video, understand, make a sketch and then solve. Now we are given directions uh, which are southwest. So let me sketch this. Since I have a limited space, I'll concentrate more on quadrant three. So let's say that is the kind of situation. So what we're given here is Sunset Point Coast Guard Station is 40 kilometers southwest from Rock Point Station. So let's say Rock Point is at the origin, okay? Then 40 kilometers southwest. So south and west means, so here we have north, east, south, and that is west. So when we say southwest, then that means 45 degrees in this particular direction. Is that clear? So, so this angle here becomes 45 degrees. So from southwest, that is what it is. And 40 kilometers, so let's say this point here is 40 kilometers away. So I'm just writing 40 kilometers here. Is that clear? Now, at midnight, both stations pick up an SOS radio signal from a signal from a ship in distress at point D. The bearing from sunset point is, so we'll call this a sunset point, and that is the rock point R. North 10 degrees east. So how do you sketch this part? Let's try to understand, right? So I'll again draw my coordinate axis here. So when we say north 10 degrees east, normally we'll read 10 degrees east from north. So 10 degrees east from north, let's say that much. So it is somewhere in this direction. Is it okay? So that is what it means. And the bearing from the rock point is, so let me use another ink, bearing from the rock point is 70 degrees west of south. So from here, 70 degrees west means kind of like this. So somewhere here, do you see that part? So that is the situation. So what we have here is a triangle and that point is the location from where the distress signal has come. We'll label this as D mentioned here. Now work on the angles. Now since this is 70 degrees, the big angle, the smaller one is 70 minus 45. So this angle is how much? It should be 70 degrees minus 45 degrees, correct? Which is equal to, so, so you get five and six take away four is 25 degrees. On this side, what we have is a right triangle, but we know this is 45 degrees southwest. This is 10 degrees, correct? So we're left with 45 minus 10. So this angle here is 35 degrees. So I hope these calculations are clear to you. Now we can also find the angle at D. You can use your calculator. Sum of angles is 180. So 180 minus 25 minus 35 gives you 120, correct? So, so that becomes 120 degrees. So I hope the angle calculations are clear. Now, we know a combination of angle and a side. So therefore, I can apply sine law. Perfect. So I'll apply the sine law. and find the sides. So SD, this side SD over sine of the angle 25 
should be equal to the known side of 40 over sine of angle 120 degrees right so from here we can calculate that sd is equals to 40 over sine of 120 degrees times sine of 25 degrees right so let's calculate this answer so we'll multiply 40 by sine of 25 degrees and then divide it by sine of 120 degrees it gives us 19.519 so i'm rounding it to 19.2 the units are kilometers is that clear let us now calculate the other side which is rd so rd is the distance from the other station right rock point so that should be equal to 40 over sine of 120 degrees times the angle opposite rd which is 35 correct sine law so we are using sine 35 so again use the same kind of statement you could write like this also this is also equals to rd over sine of 35 degrees so cross multiply to get rd let's use calculator once again so we get 40 divided by sine of 1 to 20 right and then we can multiply this by sine 35 to get our answer which is equal to 26.492 right so let me write 49 kilometers so what we get here is distance from the distress boat point to each station is it okay now we need to find the time taken so we know that here the speed of the boat is this boat is at 12 kilometers per hour right so this boat is moving at 12 kilometers per hour and the boat here moves at 8 kilometers per hour now since we know this triangle let me just make another triangle here distance speed time right so we know distance speed time we are interested in finding time which a boat will take from the sunset point to the distress point so here the distance is sd so we find time let's say t from sunset point is distance over speed now the distance is calculated as 19.52 so 19.52 kilometers and the speed is 8 kilometers per hour okay let's calculate this 19.52 divided by 8 is equal to 2.44 is in hours. Similarly, time from rock point will be the distance calculated is 26.49 kilometers and the speed is 12 kilometers per hour. So this ratio is 26.49 divided by 12 is 2.20 so let me write 2.2 2.2 hours so that much is the time so of course which is faster it is faster to go from rock point so we get rock point is faster now it says which boat will get to D first? Rock point will get first. Now we have to find the difference of time, right? Now we have to find difference of time. So difference of time was that takes longer, right? So difference of S minus R, which is 2.44 minus 2.2, uh, which is equals to 0 0.24, right? this is in hours let me multiply by uh, by 60 to get it to minutes right so 60 minutes one hour right let's do this so you do uh, 0.24 times 60 14.4 so we get 14.4 minutes so approximately 14 and a half minutes right 
So, so the time difference will be almost 14 minutes. Is that okay? So the time difference is 14 minutes. So answer here is uh, faster from rock point 14.4 minutes earlier. Does make sense to you, right? So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I'd like you to go through this once again. A very important application question. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. Thank you. Question number six, an application question on sinusoidal functions. One complete cycle of moon takes 29 days and nights. The percentage of moon surface as viewed from mid-Ontario cottage country forms a sinusoidal function when measured against time. At the new moon, the percentage visible is 0% and at full moon, the percentage visible is 100% determine the equation for this function now to find the equation we'll make some assumptions right so because we don't know when to start correct now since uh, the choice is ours it is good to assume to start from maximum or minimum right so so we'll assume that uh, we'll sketch the cycle starting with new moon right so we'll start with new moon right so that will be our first assumption now let's try to sketch this so it's kind of like this that since it is already given this is sinusoidal function so we'll just start with moon uh, first moon and just sketch a cycle kind of like this does it make sense to you now it also says that this is like kind of zero, right? And here is 100% visible. So basically, uh, we need to find percentage visible. So along by, we have percentage moon visible. And uh, this is time in days, time in days. So here, 100% is visible. Let me write here, 100%. And one time cycle is 29 days. Perfect. So that is what the situation is. Since we need to model this, let me make the axis, which is halfway, right? So let's make the axis halfway. So that means this is 50%, correct? You could write sine or cosine function for this. So let's write both. If I want to write sine function, I know the time period T is 29 days. So, so that means K will be equals to uh, 360 divided by 29, right? That's the value of K. Amplitude here, A, the amplitude is how much? Well, the amplitude is 50 right I should say uh, 50 and axis let me write axis also axis is half of this which is also 50 right okay <clears throat> how do you get these numbers let's do it right if I do maximum plus minimum divide by 2 I get axis which is uh, 100 plus 0 divided by 2 which is 50 but if I do maximum minus minimum divide by 2 which is 100 minus 0 divided by 2 is again 50 we get amplitude do you see that so we got amplitude and uh, axis now if I'm writing cosine function I could write negative since it starts with the minimum right so let me write uh, cosine function first Since it is starting with negative, I can write y equals to minus. Amplitude being 50, cos. Now, since we have taken minus here, I need not do any phase shift. But k value is 360 degrees over 29 times the variable time t. 
and the axis is 50. So we get this equation. If I want to write sine function, in that case, the equation will be y equals to minus 50 sine of. Now, if you see the sine function, it actually begins from here, uh, which is how much? Now, this point here is 29 over 2, and this point here is 1 fourth of 29. Correct? So, therefore, I could write this as the k value 360 degrees over 29. Now t minus, it starts later by 29 over 4, right, plus 50, the axis. So that becomes the sine function for the same wave. So I hope this is absolutely clear, right. And where y, as you have seen, is percentage of moon visible. We have come to the end of this video with this last question on application. I hope you have learned a lot of concepts and enjoyed the whole journey. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. The question here is, to determine if a tree-covered mountain is suitable for development, a survey crew set up a baseline RQ 850 meters. So that's the diagram. RQ is 850 meters. From R, the top of the mountain was visible and angle TRQ, so angle TRQ is 140.5, let me write down. Angle TRB, TRB is this angle, is 31.5 degrees, so this angle is 31.5 degrees. Where line RB is perpendicular to TB, so that is shown. From point Q, angle RQT is 29.5. So as you read, label your diagram. Determine the height of the mountain to the nearest meter, part A, this TB. From point R to the foot of the mountain, distance RW, 250 meters. So this distance of 250 meters, the small distance. Let me say this distance. Determine the length of ski run, that means, uh, let's assume this straight line, this ski run, to the nearest meter from T to W. So it's a very important question. Take your time to understand and then work with me to solve. Okay, so what we're given here is two angles and this side, we can always find the third angle and then use sine law, perfect. Uh, in the triangle TRQ. So it would be 180 minus 140.5 minus 29.5 equals to 10 degrees. So let's use sine law. And which side do we find? We find TR since that is a triangle to work, right? So, so we have TR over the angle opposite to TR is 29.5. So sine of 29.5 is equal to known side 850 over sine of 10 degrees opposite angle so i hope that is absolutely clear right so so this is opposite to that and we are talking about this side which is opposite to this correct so from here you can find what tr is so tr is equals to 850 over sine 10 degrees times sine of 29.5 degrees. So let's calculate this answer first. So we have 850 times sine of 29.5 equals to divided by sine of 10 equals to. So we get a value which is, let me write, uh, okay, here, 2410 point, let's say 4. So we round it to one decimal place. So we know TR. Now what do we need to know? TB, the height. Simple. We can use tan, right? So, so what we can do here is that TB, TB we want to know, and we know the hypotenuse TR, let's write TR, is equal to how much? 
TB over TR is opposite over hypotenuse, sine of the angle, right? Sine of angle 31.5 degrees. Is that clear? So from here, we get TB equals to TR times sine of 31.5 degrees. TR is that big number, so which is 2410.4, I mean, yeah, 4 times sine of 31.5 degrees, correct? So let's find this. So we already have this number 2410. We'll just multiply this by sine of 31.5. Okay. So we get this as equals to 1259.4. So we get the height. So the height as calculated here of mountains. So we said height, which is TB is equal to 1259.4 and the units are in meters right so 1.259 kilometers so we are done part a with this is that clear so once your figure is clear this calculation should not take long part b from point r to the foot of the mountain distance r w equals to 250 meters Determine the length of the ski run. So now we are actually looking into this small triangle. Let me just redraw this right. So so we have these two sides here uh, Let's use a different ink, okay, so so I'm just redrawing the whole thing, okay So what we know in this particular case is that This side is 250. Is it okay? And that side, we just calculated as 2410.4. Perfect. And what do we need to find is a slope S, this. We'll assume this to be a straight line. Does make sense to you, right? We'll assume that to be a straight line. Okay. So with that assumption, we know two sides, and we also know this angle. And this angle is uh, 31. Let me write here. Let me write 250 here. Let me push this a bit. Okay. Uh, and this side is 31.5 is the angle. Correct? So let's do part B on a fresh page. Uh, let me sketch, uh, make a rough sketch of what we had and then we'll, we'll solve it. So what we just now did was that uh, we kind of had this kind of a situation where I'm making a smaller diagram now. So that's the mountain. And uh, this is the original diagram. Okay. So, so what we saw just now was that this is the point R that is Q and this side was calculated to be 2410.4. The top of the mountain T, this is B, 90 degrees. Now we have a point W somewhere here, which is 250 meters away, 250 meters away, correct? And what we need to find is the slope, skiing slope, T to W. This is what we need to find. And we also know that this particular angle here is 31.5. So this angle here is 31.5. Is it okay? 31.5 degrees. So I'll make a bigger sketch of this small triangle and then we'll work on that. Correct? Okay. So the triangle which we are working with is kind of like this. Let me redraw here. So we have a slope here and we want to find this particular length. What we know is that it is 250 from this point. So this is 250, right? The angle here is 31.5 and that length is 24, 10.4, correct? This point is T, that point is W. So we need to find TW. Since we are given side, angle, side, we are going to use cosine law, perfect? So the side TW, we can write TW squared will be equals to 250 square plus 24 10.4 square 
minus 2 times 250 times 2410 times cos of the angle which is 31.5 degrees is it okay so that is what it is equal to so we can now use calculator to calculate this answer so we get 250 square plus 24 10.4 square minus 2 times 250 times uh, 24 10.4 times cos of angle is 31.5.5 degrees equals to so we get a number which is 48449262 so tw is square root of this 48449262 so if i do square root of the answer i get 2201 okay so let's say point one fine so so the slope the ski slope the ski run so what we get here is that the ski run which is tw is equals to 22 point i mean kilo i mean meters or you could say this is 2.2 kilometers is it okay so that is the length of the ski run so i hope this concept is clear so in this particular video you learned most of the concepts about trigonometric functions we began with very simple ratios equivalent ratios the trigonometric identities solved equations and then took a few application questions feel free to write your comment share your views and if you really like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best